A very good morning and peace to you all. Every one of us, we dream and aspire. And at different points in our life, we strive to achieve these for ourselves and our children. But it is our dreams for others, as a friend of mine paraphrased it, that are worth chasing. Some may dream in pink, I dream in public health. <laughs> I believe and cherish my motto of saving lives millions at a time by solving the public health problems of our century. It is one of these problems that I wanted to share and work on. Even in this day and age, there are places in the world where 20% of the children do not receive the life-saving vaccines. And among children who do initiate the vaccination schedule, 20% never complete the six-visit routine of childhood immunization. This was a problem that I was working on during my Fulbright at Hopkins, getting a, in public a doctorate in public health. And one of the, this was a time when I was looking at large data sets, population level data sets, trying to understand why families fail to access free preventable healthcare services and how to increase immunization completion rate among children. And one of the solutions that I thought of came to me in a dream, literally, in a dream. I had a vivid dream that I'm standing next to a mother and I'm tying a, a band around the ankle of her infant and I'm telling her, you must vaccinate your child. <laughs> this dream led me to developing my first innovation, the vaccine indicator and reminder band. The VIR band is a low tech, low cost solution that has, that's based, it's a silicon band with a built in time strip indicator and when the time strip indicator is activated and placed on the in ankle of the infant, it changes color in a time controlled manner. And this serves as a visual cue to action to families that it's when it's the time to return to the vaccination center to get the next dose of vaccines for their child. The VIR band, because it stays on the ankle of the infant, it also creates a dialogue at the household level around health and immunization. Since 2012, I've dedicated my time and effort to this intervention, and I have tested it in, in Nigeria, in Pakistan, and now with the technology that has come out of it and the learning that has come out of this intervention, I'm developing new interventions to make sure to, for application in different populations, in different community settings. We are working with urban underserved communities, with populations that are migratory and with refugees. And I continue to dream. And I ask you all to dream. Let's dream of a time when every child is a wanted child. A child is wanted not only there during their gestational period, but when they are born, they are loved and cared for by their families and their communities. Let us dream that every child is valued regardless of their mental and physical capabilities, that no child is left behind, that every child is accepted regardless of their gender identity and orientation. Let us believe and let us dream of a time when the state provides not just the basic amenities of health, food, shelter, and clothing, but also quality education, health, and a safe environment. So every one of us, and this provision continues not through just childhood and adolescence, but into the adult life, that everyone is able to achieve their full potential of human development. Let us dream that every child is a loved child, and no child is left behind. I know, I hear you, that it's easier said than done. But believe me, for change to occur, all it takes is for one person to stand up and proclaim that I have a dream. And that dream transforms into a collective voice and a force of action. 
In our journeys of chasing dreams, they are one too many that are unrealized and broken. To the broken dreams I say, despair not. Despair not, for I will wear you like battle scars with pride. I will wear you like battle scars, so one day you will adorn a new set of eyes. This new set of eyes will see you as a vision and really to achieve the mission that every child in every urban slum, in every remote village, in every battleground, and on every border wall is safe from disease, hunger, and hurt. And I think to get a transformation at a global scale, let us all dream of connecting hearts and connecting minds. Thank you.